Hello everyone and welcome to a Let's Play in a Go of 20XX. This game that I played a fair amount both on my own time and on my channel while it was in early access has been released. Um, it's been about a week and a half or so since it's actually been released, but this game is amazing. There's so much that they've added since I last uh, showed it off on my channel. And... <laughs> the biggest part of it all is probably the fact that level 9 has finally been added. So what we're going to do today is hopefully make it that far and find out what it has in store for us. I already know I've gotten to the final level, but I have not actually beaten the game yet. Partly because I haven't unlocked all the upgrades. Um, one of the things that they added that was before the release, but after I posted my last video of this game, is that they've added permanent upgrades for normal and reverent modes. Um, Reven reverent is basically the new... Um, I'm not actually going to lose my soul chips here, I'm just going to show it off. Reverent is the new casual mode. And they also changed it up so that instead of getting an extra three power-ups that... Instead of getting an extra three power-ups that you get to pick at the beginning before you actually start your run, you now just get three lives. So it's basically three of the, um... What are they called? It's a little gizmo repro that gives you an extra life, basically, if you die. Um, except I believe you spawn respawn with full health. So, some pretty neat stuff. And along with the permanent upgrades, you got all these different things here. One of them is the Dally. Dally is this little thing right here, this little kitten bot that we can pet. <laughs> um, depending on how many upgrades you have for her, she will drop things as you go through your run. I think it's on the... F is it the first level? I think it's the second, fourth, sixth, and eighth levels. And all that shows up here. The other upgrades that you can get that are permanent are getting box spawns, both weapon and item, and um, power-ups. Um, you can also get increased energy and increased health, which if I turn... Okay, no, it doesn't show on here. That's interesting. Um, but you can toggle the power-ups, uh, the upgrades, on and off if you so desire. Uh, I'm not going to use my charge much with Ace, so I'm just going to get a token. And of course, they changed a lot of the art for the different power-ups, too. The Contractor Plus is basically the same. All of your stats get increased by one, but as you can tell, they've severely changed the art, so it's not a direct Mario reference anymore. <laughs> Although it is still a mushroom. And we're going to be playing on normal. One, because I don't have all the upgrades. Two, level nine is hard. And I mean hard. But we'll talk about that more once we get there. They've also added a whole bunch of new little um, pieces to the fort. Fuck me. They've added a whole bunch of new pieces to the formula with um, the level generators. Which is nice. Not... Not like a huge amount, there's still a lot of pieces that people will likely recognize, but it is really nice. Is there anything down here? Oh, that's where I came from originally. Never mind. Like I said, it's big enough to actually get a little bit lost now. A uh, whole bunch of changes to the... What do they call The soul... soul guys. And they're still updating the game. They're still coming out with patches for little tweaks here and there. Uh, 
one of the one of the biggest focuses is level nine because it is so difficult, um, and they're toning things down a little bit. Not necessarily toning things down, but they're they're making modifications to make it not easier but more accessible. And then, of course, some quality of life changes, since they have changed quite a bit of the game. I don't know why I'm going after these weapon boxes. I haven't unlocked any of the good ones yet. Well, <laughs> to me, the only good one is the uh, the javelin. The one where you basically do a... Where you spin to win while you're jumping around in the air. But it is what it is. I also feel like this level is way shorter. But that's probably because I'm used to playing Defiant with um, Marathon, which the skulls still very much exist. Vile Visage has gotten a lot of changes. I think... I kind of miss the eyeballs that he used to fire, rather than these little purple things. Oh, a lot of the projectile effects have changed as well. Uh, Nina's charge up attack. Both the animation for her charging up and when she fires the blast are way different. It's much more Mega Man esque. Which is cool. Oh, we got a charging up. Yeah, nice. Uh. I do have the right helmet, but I'm finding that going more attack power is usually better. I haven't been able to experiment much with the end bosses, so I don't know if they're like weak to anything or whatnot, but uh, we'll take care of the Astral Twins now because they are a pain to deal with later in the game. Oh, great, we have a... one of these soul guys right now. Oh, and that's one of the other things that they've done. You now have data entry for not just, um, bosses and some of the more prominent enemies, as well as weapon, uh, as well as, um, augments and stuff like that. But you also have data entries that you can get after you kill an enemy a certain number of times. Let me just show that off real quick. It's under Dale Lore tab. So we have the aug descriptions. Uh, I'm not going to read those now, I'm just going to let you guys read what I have already, and once I unlock it, I'll probably go through this game again with you guys and read through them for you. And then we have the core augs. I'm, really? I haven't gotten the blaster for that yet? Huh. But yeah, once they release the game fully, it reset everybody's data. So there's... That includes the leaderboards and everything like that. Have an unlock repros. The only one I've picked up so far is this Defiant Decree, which is a new prototype AUG. And this one I actually feel like isn't really that big of a deal because you get two extra chests. You get a you get a bonus chest when you defeat a boss. It's the big red and yellow one that spawns when you kill a boss. Uh, I don't know if I actually have that in my videos yet. I'll have to show that off. Uh, and then the different kinds of busters for Nina. Different weapons for Ace. And then the foes. We have Flap, we have Bizba <laughs> Bizom, okay then. We have Roly, we have Snomp, Spirit. Really? Huh. Grome, Lotus, Blaster, Ping! Maint Core. <laughs> terrible. I like their old name. Creep, Cloud Bolt. Arker, okay, and then the Mace Knight. Um, and then there's the Alpha, Beta, and Gamma versions of these enemies, which obviously increases in difficulty the, the more they are. So Alpha ones are really easy to deal with. Those are the only ones we're seeing in this level. Betas are a little tougher, um, and Alphas can straight up kill you on their own, on their own merit. It's straight up. And then these are all the bosses. I'm not going to look at the at the other one because we haven't really encountered him yet. So now we have boss descriptions, which is awesome. And that's everything. All right. 
Ooh, I almost uh, fumbled with that one there. I kind of want to... Hey! And here's a show off of what Dally does. And she fucking spawned a bunch of energy. That is so not helpful for me right now. It's kind of annoying that she does that there, too, because it's like... When are you gonna use energy at this point in the game? <laughs> like, honestly. You just got your first power up. It's probably not gonna be terribly usable. It's. Uh, uh, something else that has happened. It may just be the fact that I currently only have a lot of the cheaper upgrades right now. Because there is a certain order that you unlock um, upgrades in. and use this. Oh, we actually got something. Something that I don't care about. <laughs> uh, this is gonna suck. Alright. We got the twin astrals that are forged in flames and all that dramatic stuff. Yeah, so this is why it's really nice to deal with these guys now because there's no respawn and they have a lot less health. So we can just deal with them right quick. Um, but as I was saying with the Augs, it feels like they've really increased how many nuts you get in a run. But that may also be because it's pretty much the same amount. The nut finder for me is pretty common right now because I don't have that many unlocks. Um, and most of the items, most of the Augs that I do have are pretty cheap. So, I'm able to save up on nuts and then not be able to do anything with them in the end game. Which is alright. It is what it is. I could go for that, but I'm not going to. Alright, I can make that. Oh, that's a gold nut. Oh. It's worth it. Oh, not if I miss it. There we go. We help for five nuts? Oh, it's worth Just die already. Jeez. There you go. A lot of the functionalities have remained the same. You still unlock stuff with soul chips that you get by killing enemies. Um, well, killing specific enemies anyway, the uh, soul enemies. As well as completing a level and picking up the soul chips at the end of the level same spot where you can pick the uh, next boss that you're going to go to. Uh, ooh, there's stuff down here. No, this is... Waste of my time! Why is... Okay, that one random square is yellow and the, and the rest are blue. I don't know what that's about. Nothing else I... I don't think there's anything else I really want. Where is there? Oh, I haven't been here yet. Never mind. I'll take exactly what I can afford. <laughs> yeah, there's that good old nut finder. So I'm going to be rich by the end of this. Death Lotus, the Prince of Petals. I love the boss artwork. Oh, and visually the games have been... Have the, uh, the game has been improved a lot as well. In a lot of respects, anyway. There's some aspects that are like, why'd they do that? Uh, they've also added a bunch of new sound effects for the bosses, as you've heard. Uh, death sound for the boss is completely new. That whole screeching metal explosion thing. Uh, explosions last way longer when the bosses die. A lot of things that I've kind of taken for granted at this point because I play it so often. <laughs> But um, things I just want to point out, because I'm trying to remember exactly what the last build was that I played in, on my channel, and it's been quite a while, so. Uh, as weird as it sounds, I actually prefer dealing with um, the Sky Temple level bosses 
later in the game now. I used to like going at him really early, because that level gets difficult, but honestly, the Ogni Sort level is more difficult for me in the late game, just because there's so many projectiles everywhere, versus stationary um, beams that you just have to dodge and play around. Oop, that is a soul enemy. A lot less health than I was expecting. I feel like they reduced the health on them. I know they got changed a while ago, but... I just don't remember what they changed. Another... Another weapon box, man? Come on. Give me a break. All the weapons I have are shitty. Okay, the spear isn't that bad, but it's still not the greatest. Oh, come on. Well, that's an extra 10 seconds I have to wait. There we go. Oh, and they also changed the uh, aggro range for certain uh, for certain enemies, so... You're not gonna have those, um, gamma... Gamma flappies coming at you from off-screen. <laughs> Same with the betas, but the gammas were really bad. Which I feel like kinda took away some of the difficulty, but they also became a lot more unpredictable, because they'll back out of range, but then they'll just stop going at you, because they, they lost aggro, basically. Oh god, what is what is wrong with my platforming right now? Come on, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Probably won't be able to afford much, but it's still worth a look. Hey! I could get a scrap metal scavenger. <laughs> uh I would prefer the movement speed. But extra nuts. I'm kinda of feeling the scrap metal scavenger. Nah, I'll go with I'll go with run speed. Run speed's always good. They also changed up how the um, run speed numbers work. So it's no longer a flat number that is just constantly added to that stat. It is now um, calculated in a certain way. Why are we seeing gammas already? Holy shit, dude. Whatever. That was a big surprise. Hey, that's... that's decent. Well, Og wasn't really, but I'll take it anyway. Aw, I can't... I can't pet you? Sad face. That's alright. Oh, uh, why are you giving me energy? Uh, I should have picked up that Shockwave when I had the chance. That's the only ability I would ever use, because it just blocks pretty much everything. All projectiles are fine, which is kind of important with Ace, honestly. Because most of the time, you're too close to avoid him. Because you have to get up close to attack. Uh, you still have the two playable characters, Ace and Nina. Nina is your char is your Mega Man knockoff, and Ace is your Proto Man slash uh, Zero knockoff. Whoa. And then we have Rolster Beta, who is... Always living by the motto, roll free or die. <laughs> God, I love Excalibur. Just gonna take a nut screw that. Max HP increased by two, that's nice. Really? This this game really wants me to go to Sky Temple. I wonder why that is. I'm gonna go to Shatterbeaks first. I just, I hate the little ice projectiles that are always everywhere. If I get this out of the way, I'm not going to have to deal with it later. Whoa! That's what I'm losing most of my, my hit points to now, is just all the projectiles. Oh boy! All the projectiles everywhere. What do we have here? Ooh! I will take that Contractor Plus, thank you. Contractor Plus is always a good, a good benefit. Okay, and we have one of the, uh... Beta Wetsons now. Ow. Which are honestly the bane of my existence, more than the um, the gamma ones. I'll just wait for this flappy guy. There we go. Oh, jeez, gamma already. The gammas are spawning a lot sooner than they used to. Wow. 
Well, that happened. <laughs> Either that or I'm just used to the levels being longer, and so it's like, oh, they're showing up sooner. I wonder why that is. Whoa. Nice, an actual upgrade. God damn it, power enhancer, really? Uh, this run really wants me to use abilities. I might just pick one up. Whoopsie. Oh, I can't platform to save my life today! Stop! Oh my god. There we go. God, why is this just a struggle for me right now? Whatever. Okay. Ooh, there is fun. So much energy! Enough with the energy already! I don't have any abilities! I don't have any powers. And that's empty, but I had to check anyway, just to be sure. Let me boop you. Just exploit that, because I'd rather not deal with that in close proximity anyway. What do we got? That's yeah, not bad. I'll be able to get that nut finder now. We're gonna scrap metal scavenger anyway. Get one more. All right. Shout to beat the icy Avenger. Oh, how that hit me? That's that didn't hit me. You're lying. I also feel like they reduce boss health in general, but that may also just be because of the fact that I'm playing on normal rather than defiant. I was going to pick up a power and I totally forgot. Of course I have it. Oh, Perforator, this is going to be interesting. I have nothing to block his shots. It's going to be a rough fight. Ow. Unless I get the one, uh, one of the, uh, Suit upgrades. Either the either the uh, gold buster one or ah, I keep forgetting those go through walls. Either the uh, gold buster one. I can't remember what that suit's name is. I think it's Megatort or something like that. I want to say Megaton, but that's a city in Fallout 3. <laughs> They fall out through forever. Ow. I haven't played any fallouts for in a while. Can I. Thank you. Am I supposed to do this? Okay. Well, nope. Not bad. Is this another weapons box, man? Come on. Get out of here. Waste of time and health. Hey! Get out again. What you got? Nice. Except there was no health in there, which I desperately need right now. Well, not desperately, but I could certainly use some. Thank you! Thank you, game. Ask and thou shalt receive. Or something along those lines. Oop! Oh, oh. That armor would have been nice. Really? sucking so bad right now. <laughs> I played this yesterday. I'm not that rusty. At least I shouldn't be. Oh well, I guess we all have whiffs. Oh my god, dude! I guess we all have just bad days in general. Wow, that was really bad. Alright, what do we got this time? Whatever. We got to almost full health, so it's not too bad. A discordant Riddler, Perforator Alpha. Stupid little laugh. Ugh, that, that sound just... no. Some of the sound effects that they've added are good for the bosses, others just... what even. Just... just what even. Ow. Really? Mix 
six match mastery. Well, I only have one of those suit upgrades right now, so it's going to be difficult. I could get Vera. Vera would be good, both for long range stuff and for, um, for Kerr. And if I face him last, he is going to be pretty tough. I'll get it. Why not? That's no bueno. <laughs> That's this good. Ow, screw you. Oh my god, I'm falling apart at the seams here. Is this is this really This can't just be because I'm let's playing, right? I know I know it's, there's the such thing there is such a thing as a let's player's curse because of the fact that I'm basically multitasking, which doesn't actually exist. At least according to medical science. Damn it. Oh, oh, I could have made that! I could have made that! <laughs> oh no! Oh no, this guy. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, this game right now, man. I just, I just can't. <laughs> This can't just be Let's Player's Curse, though. It, it has to be me. It has to be me 100% just failing right now. <laughs> oh my god, it's so bad. Ooh. Ooh. I like both of these. Oh, I... Mm. Mm, 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 mm. I was not checking my... Mm. I was not checking how many nuts I had. That was That was really bad. Out of the two of those, I should have gotten the boots, hands down. I, I like the mobility, I need the mobility for this level, and I don't have it right now. Whoa! Oh, jeez! Well, more than I thought I had, but... That double jump would have come in handy so much. Whoa, hey! Shot. Oh, and then we have the uh, the new glory zones. Oh, fuck me. Mm. I always flunk at that one. It's pretty game. Oh god, no, 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 no. We have um, updated glory zones. So now it's not just killing all the enemies. You have different tasks to complete, like taking no damage and getting through that area. Or what's another really good one? Um, uh, ah, fleeing. I love the fleeing one. Hit. Probably could have made that, but better safe than sorry. The, uh... The light all these switches ones can go fuck off for all I care. I hate those so much. They're usually relatively simple, but they're just uh, no fun. No fun to me at all. Up, oh, hey, game. What do? You, hey. This is nonsense. All right, let's try this again. Land here. What? I am... I am just, just a little bit frustrated right now. <laughs> just a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking up so bad. Whoop. Okay, there we go. Eh, Excalibur's worth. Got 2 HP and extra attack out of it. I'll take that. Ooh, I'm glad I did not hit him while his shield was up. That could have been uh, really bad. 
so that one's constant. If you're facing that way, I can't really hit you, but there's nothing else down there to collect, so not much of a point. Ooh, there's a box down here. Health, I needed that. Thank you, game. Okay. I wonder if they changed how the game seeds at all. Whoa! Um, since this game is does randomly generate its levels within certain themes, of course, and kind of does a cookie cutter style with it, um, it generates a seed every time you start up a new run. The cool thing about it is that you can actually save the seed generated off and let other people play it, like friends and whatnot. If you thought it was really cool or really difficult, you can go ahead and share that. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, that boot gives a lot more than it used to. They used to just be a double jump, but now it gives one up to pretty much everything that's attack related. Cur the Savage Skylord. Oh boy. Rough. Glad I have that Contractor Plus. Double jump game, come on. Oh right, I have the power up, I forgot. There we go. Okay. Took me over half of his health to remember. Oh wait, I have the power up for this. Uh Today is just not my day. Alright, and the last of the eight bosses, Eternal Scar. Uh. I tried to say Sky Temple and Star in one time. Time to face Eternal Star. Whoop. It's kind of funny, because I used to want to face this boss first, because I found him so difficult. And now it's like... I'll take last. What is this? You... Okay. Whatever. Not even gonna contemplate the art. <laughs> What's going on here? Right, because I used some of Vera last time around. Let's get rid of these uh, little flappies. Just hop over that. That's not bad. I'll take lifesteal. Life steal's not as strong as it used to be in the op in the uh, early access, but screw you, game. But it's still a decent upgrade to have around. Uh, oh, it's gonna oh, it got... damn it! Oh, the time differences are getting getting to me. Oh, there wasn't even anything up there to begin with. Yeah, stuff like that is what I'm talking about with the Gamma, um, what's this? Gamma Flappies. Right. Flee! Here we go, here's my favorite one. Bye! Ooh. Ooh. Do I want that? What does that give me anyway? That gives me Bolt Dash. All it gives me is Bolt Dash. That doesn't give me the extra power or anything like that. Ugh. I'm gonna take the Jump Height. As, as cool as it is to run around and be... Idiot. As cool as it is to run around and be super fast, um, that's all the Bolt Dash gives. It's not really... I just don't feel comfortable with it like I used to. Uh, especially with all those small mobility upgrades that they gave the rest of the suit upgrades. Oh, okay, this is one of those, one of those beams. Gotta take my time and be careful with it. Oh. I still try to get through the level as fast as possible. I got a little life out of that. Alright. Is 
side, thank you. Oh, I don't have enough for this. Oh. So now here's my dilemma. Do I get Excalibur or do I get Contractor Plus? I have powers that I use now. I'd rather get the Contractor Plus, but there's no guarantee. Oh, that was so worth. That was so worth. Give me that Contractor Plus. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm talking about. Ask and thou shalt receive. Whoa. All right. All right. I, I really want to make it to level 10. It's it's still technically level 9, but uh, once again, I don't really want to bother with that. It's just too much work. Oh, that double jump is so nice. Double jump is so nice. Love it. Oh, screwed up there. There we go. Ooh, a token. We'll see if we ever get to use it. Ah, oh, double jump is so nice. The ability upgrades in general are really nice. Especially for this level, because there's so much empty space to fall down into. Ooh. Be aware of the timing for those things. Oops. A little damage there, but that's okay. Holy nuts, dude. Oh, I fell down there. That's cool. Uh, I can't quite reach that, but that's okay. Oh, whoop. I don't know what that was. That real quick. Ah, we got a data lore. Not entirely what for, but I'll take it. Ah, let's get some run speed, why don't we? Alright, and now I'm broke. That's okay. Alright, Eternal Star, let's go. That's another nice thing about the double jump. You can redirect where he fires those little spears. I have nothing to block shots right now. That, that's, that really blows. Uh, eh. Don't. Whoa. Just throw some of those guys out. Which actually isn't the best idea since I have lifesteal now. And I can heal off of these guys. Ow. Go. Holy cow, dude. But really? That wasn't even a that wasn't even an exploding guy. This is not gonna go well. Oh, they just keep spawning in, dude. Ridiculous. Just focus on them. There we go. What? You're supposed to be dead! Stop hurting me. When you're dead, you're not supposed to hurt me. Freaking add-ons. Okay. Oh, and this is another feature that they added, and they have a save and quit function now. So if you need to go somewhere, you just finish the level that you're on, and then you save and quit, and it brings you to the main menu. And you can resume a run where you last left off. And we still have those uh, lovely little quips from everybody that we've seen a hundred thousand times. I don't think they have anything new there. Here we are. Time to get serious. Ah, you bitch. Whoa. Coins, dude. Ah, uh, oh. This level. This level is, is. This level is so rough. Oh. Oh, that's right, I got the the uh, spooky one. Where I can hit through shields. I forgot about that. Whoa. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Fuck you.
Yeah, level 9 is tense. Ooh, I need that. So, okay. Thankfully, I'm hitting hard enough that most of the enemies here aren't going to be an issue, but... Oop. Yeah, I'm one-shotting those guys. That's gold... Nice. Not gonna bother. Screw you. So, the platforming in this level is absolutely insane. And you see what I mean by that now. It, this is just... For somebody like me that likes to rush through the platform level... Oh, right, I had armor. I was wondering why I didn't flinch from that. Whoop. Fuck you. Whatever. Whoop, you bastard. For somebody who likes to rush through the level, this gets insanely diff- Oh! Insanely difficult, because you just don't know what's coming at you. You have a long time to complete it. Don't get me wrong. But... This is a long level. I can't even imagine what this is like on Defiance. <laughs> I hope it's not any longer, because this is this is already long enough as it is. Okay. Extra life is appreciated. Oh, I missed all that coinage. That's okay. Oh no, game! Why'd you do that to me? No! Ugh. I think for this level alone, this. <laughs> Don't mind all the weird noises I'm making. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is intense, dude. This game does not mess around. This level doesn't mess around, I should say. Screw you. Oh, just the punch. That's okay. I don't think there's any secrets to find on these levels, because just there's there's just so much going on already. And having that would kind of detract from the whole element of it, I think. At least I hope not. You really don't have a chance to explore. <laughs> Well, I'm not giving myself a chance. Oh god, I'm dead. Alright. Let's try that again. Ooh. Is that just a random thing going up there? Where's that even from? Okay, it actually has a block there. It's oh, I'm screwed. Just run past. And jump into it anyway. Jump into it anyways. Alright, and this is one of those weird ones where I have to do that. Oh no! Damn it. Double jump is so handy there. Whoa. Oh, hello. Really? Okay. There we go. Okay. Ooh. All right, we made it. Holy shit. <laughs> What do we have, since we have 100 nuts? That's nice, that's nice, and I will... Is that worth it? Yeah, totally. Alright, we'll take it. Put up on health as much as I can. Beautiful. Alright. Let's face the first boss. Dr. Bright and Sharp himself, the Duke of Development. So as you can see, he has abilities from all of the bosses! Yay! I'm so glad I have that wall spook. Because now I just don't care. Alright, this one isn't too bad. Oh, that twin... That twin flame thing is annoying as hell. It doesn't hurt anymore unless you walk into it while the beam is active, but it's... It still makes this a lot harder for Ace. Okay, that was Kurz. I can just do that. Nice. Stop. Let's get rid of that one. 
at it. Thankfully, he only fires three of those. And we get three loot boxes for that. That was so much easier with the power-ups available. Holy cow. I think Vera has gotten a lot more useful now. Oh, and then, and then this weirdness. Like, like, what is this? There's nothing I can interact with. So... <laughs> yeah, remember those soul chips? You hit this poor little thing enough times. <laughs> There's your eight soul chips. <laughs> poor thing just had a little... a little doll to play with, too. And then level 10, the deep station. I have no idea if there's a final leveler or anything beyond this, because I've only gotten to this level. Bye, I guess? I have no power up whatsoever. Oh my gosh, my abilities do no damage, it's ridiculous. This one is a lot easier, mostly for the fact that you don't have a bunch of bottomless pits to deal with. You just have a lot more of these projectile-based things. Well, not a lot more, actually. Just a few more. Alright. Yeah, it's not too bad at all. Way fewer bottomless pits, and the enemy count is about the same, really. Um, you don't see that many gamma enemies. Which is... Thank goodness for that. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Alright, here we go. Alright then. Just gonna take my time, be patient with this. We actually don't have a timer. I find that interesting. Oop, ap. That is interesting to note. I didn't realize that the last time around. When I played this the first time. Got to this level the first time anyway. First and only other time. Ooh. That wall spook really made that last fight easier, as well as the um, as well as uh, Vera. That really made a difference. God damn it! That is a tough one. You were hiding inside that. Okay then. Not even gonna question it. We do you, boo boo. That's all I'm gonna say. I also haven't noticed any soul enemies around here, which I really like, actually. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh god, you are going to be a pain in the ass. Not as bad as I expected, but still. I did take some damage there. You guys are around. That's new. Alright, now we're starting to get some of the gamma enemies showing up. Really? Out of all the things that could have hurt me there, I took damage from the little ice thing that was falling. Jumped quite high enough. Jumped into it. That's good. Alright. Whoop! That double jump is so nice. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Just the little messages from that. It's so funny. Alright. Pretty sure this is going to be the final boss. Yeah, armor's not bad. Thank you. Not quite what I was expecting, but I'll take it. Wow, we are going into this with almost full health. That's really good, actually. Dr. Arlen Flat, Chief of Control. So this is a bit more of a gimmicky boss fight than anything. <laughs> Just a little bit fourth wall breaking. Did I just walk through his leg there? I think I did. Oh, Alright, 
So a little patience here. Oop, that wasn't good. And this is why this boss fight is gimmicky. Because we have to go through all of that so that we can hurt him. And we have all these clones to deal with as well. Alright, you're just gonna run that way. I'm cool with that. Bye. Nothing to deal with you. Alright. Gotta keep the pace with the fire. Alright, this is one of the easier ones to deal with. Only if you have the double jump, of course. Because I can just do this. I don't have to worry about it. I don't think... Yeah, you don't take damage when that animation happens. Which is really nice. Is that you know, just headless there? I'm pretty sure she was headless. Alright, now he starts firing projectiles. Oh god, this one sucks. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Again, double jump is very helpful. Alright, we almost got to him. I don't know if it's one or two more times that we have to do something like that, but... What the hell is going on, man? Insane. What? That was interesting. Oh, also, listen to that new music. <laughs> I imagine you guys haven't really been paying attention, but that music for the for the new level is just so good. Oh god, this poor legless Nina! She exploded? What? <laughs> what is this nonsense? Oh my goodness, this is insane! Wow! Resurrecting corpses over here. This is insanity. Wow. I'm... Aw. Oh, I almost made that without damage. Yes! Yes! Holy shit. Wow. Okay. I guess we're just going. Wasn't expecting this. Nope, I'm just I'm fucking. Go. <laughs> I don't know if there's actually like a, a limit on this or anything, but I'm just fucking going. Oh my god, all the broken reploids. Oh god. Okay, so it's just get out of the level. It's not actually a timed thing. That's cool. It's certainly intense though. Oh my goodness. I feel so bad. All these copies. Ugh. So horrible. Holy shit, game complete! We won! <laughs> oh my gosh. All of that and only 59 soul chips? Holy cow. Wow, dude. Alright. 57,000 damage, holy cow. <laughs> hmm, looks like it broke the testing suite. Huzzah! Pure of encouragement, oh my goodness. Holy shit, dude. That was intense.
Wow, I actually... Holy cow. Whew. So that's 20XX for you. That's just that's just the normal mode. <laughs> wow, that wall spook made a world of difference. Jeez. Okay, so maybe level 9 and 10 aren't quite as difficult as I originally thought they were. Just a few key items here and there. Alright. Ugh. <sighs> So I haven't unlocked everything yet, clearly. Um, I'm definitely going to show this on my channel again when I do have that, when I do have all the unlocks. But we'll see if that remains, if what's in the game is going to remain. It's already been released, so there's not going to be any huge changes or anything like that, but I imagine there's going to be balance fixes, and they may actually change up some of the, um, the OGs. I kind of doubt it, though. 572 loving Kickstarter backers. The wait has absolutely been worth it, yeah. I didn't kickstart this game, but um, I did play it through early access, obviously. And this is... Blitz the furriest cat? Zuko the most toasted marshmallow colored cat? Samus also a cat? And Rory the loudmouth bird? I love those pet names, that's great. Oh my goodness, man. That's... that's insane. It looks like whoever did the art style for this... for this one in the, uh... final cutscene that I'd never seen before. That was the first time I saw that cutscene where they're, um... running out of the base together. Holy cow. The art style is a little different from the rest of the game, which I find kind of interesting. Oh, goodness. So, I love this game. I was a die-hard Mega Man X fan. I played through every single one um, when I got the chance to. I didn't play X7 and X8. Well, I, actually, I didn't even play X4 and X, X4 through X6 until I figured out what a place to how to work the... Uh, PlayStation emulators, and with X7 and X8, that was, I got those for the computer, because that was what I had. Um, so disappointed with X7, X8 was decent, but not the X, not the Mega Man X I knew and loved, but I loved, absolutely loved the Mega Man X series, and I was so bummed when they just... Capcom was like, we're not going to make any more. Screw you guys. Even though we have a huge player fan base that would love to have more. Um, and Mighty Number no. 9 was kickstarted and released by the same guy who made the Mega Man X games, who was the the brainchild behind it all. But Mega Mighty Number no. 9 was such a huge flop. I heard what was going on with the Kickstarter and how the end game was, how the end release was. And I just, I never played it. Because I, I heard about the disappointment, the failure that it was. How it flopped so bad. And then they came across 20XX. And it's more, it's more Mega Man inspired than it is by the Mega Man X series. The Mega Man, I mean, both have the same formula. It's in essence. Um, but there's a lot of little differences here and there that really kind of make them stand on their own. And this game kind of takes a little more after the original Mega Man series. But, ugh. Oh, ugh, oh, it's so good. I love it. And the best part is, it's not the same experience every time you play. It's always a little different. Because of the fact that it's randomly generated. Um, and you have different augment augmentations to unlock. And you have different suits that you can use at the same time. And... All these other cool little things that really make it a unique experience every single time I play. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wonder if this has changed at all if we're still in the main HQ building. Yeah, we're still in the HQ building.
That's alright. I'm kind of curious about the story now, actually. I might, uh, I'm probably going to talk about that when I next do this, when I next do this game. Um, that is going to be a defiant run with all the upgrades unlocked. And permanent upgrades aren't available on, um, on defiant difficulty anyway. So it's not going to matter. <laughs> but anyway... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game as... I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed playing through it. And until next time, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And take care. Bye for now.